No, Lou, I got to say, I'm, I'm really impressed. This time last year, you were not doing so well. It's like you've gone from jobber to main eventer in the past year. Yeah, man, I'm getting a push. Welcome to BFS Pod, always on a few show podcast. This is 24-7 Lou, and that's Ricard saying it's time to end the push. Oh, and that's the one-man band who is returning for a second streak with, with the real, the real story. Oh, oh. Ooh, a real oh, comeback gosh. story there. Yes, folks, welcome to TFS Pilot. Otherwise, there's a few show podcasts. I'm on one show on the YouTube. I'm on one show in your heart. I'm on one show in the world. I'm on one show everywhere. Everywhere you can find us, wherever you find us. Yes, folks, this episode we will be talking about AEW Double or Nothing. It's going to be a, a big, big, big show with 10 matches. It's going to be a lot of stuff going on. But before we get to that, before we get to that action, the one man band, let's hear that line everybody, everybody wants to hear. Oh, Rick Hard, get the scoreboard. All right, folks. So, with WrestleMania Backlash in the books, Backwash. scoreboard stands at Lou, seven points. You're in the lead. Yeah. The One Man Band and myself are tied for second, five points apiece. Yeah. Followed in a distant third by the randomizer at two points. Still surprised about that. J Few at one point, and then everyone else at zero. Oh, yeah. That's good. I like how that sounds. Two-point lead. Yes. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Two-point lead. There we go, Podverse. It's, you're listening to the person. How many matches we have we had for pay-per-views? 12 this year? and I have, we're gonna have We have done 12 pay-per-views so far. And wow. I have won seven of them. Yes, folks. Seven of Yes, Podverse. I, your champ is right here. I know you're rooting for me. Actually, I just realized I'm counting a W double or nothing on there, so it's actually eleven, a seven out of eleven. Even better. So it's a little better. Even better. Damn. <laughs> Not bad. All right. So okay. So um, also we need to we need to announce that we will have an extra player from the Few family. It's going to be Big Al from Central Florida Few uh, Few Group. Uh, he's he's a big fan of wrestling. He loves AEW, and he follows all the stuff that goes on uh, in Central Florida wrestling. He goes out to Orlando. He goes to Tampa. He goes to different events. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, Big Al will be, will, will be participating with us. So the order for today's uh, predictions will be I will go first. Rick Hart goes second. The one-man band goes third. The randomizer, Jay Few, and Big Al. So that's the kind of show we're going to have. Big, 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 big show. A lot of players for uh, a lot of matches we're going to have. So let's... Uh, yeah, I got to say, man, six participants. I feel like I'm in a casino battle royal. All right, already, right? <laughs> 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 All right, so let's start off with the first match of... Remember, this is the order that we have that we found on Wikipedia, the best source in the world. Yeah, right. And <laughs> so this is the order we're going to go. We're going to go with Young Bucks. The Young Bucks. Matt... Jackson and Nick Jackson versus the champions versus the huh? versus John Moxley and Eddie Kingston tag team match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. All right, for this one, I'm gonna go first, and I have a feeling it's gonna be a big night. Very big night, a lot of matches going on. But I don't know. I still think the Young Bucks win. I'm going to go with the Young Bucks for the win on this one. I don't know. I can't predict why. I, I mean, the reason why behind it. I just copied. I mean, I just feel that way. Uh huh. No. So, Rick Hard, go ahead and copy my pick. <sighs> copy the pick, he says. All right. So, I'm going to agree that the Young Bucks retain. Uh, I do have a reasoning behind them retaining, and it's really simple. Uh, John Moxley needs to finally take some time off to go see his 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 uh, soon to be newborn child. Young Bucks retain. That's my pick. Okay. Uh, maybe you have you have uh, John Moxley and Eddie Kingston break apart after that. Uh, Eddie Kingston beats up Moxley. Something. I don't know. All right. Okay. 
and the one-man band. Who do you have? So I, I've i been looking at this, and I also am in the consensus of the Young Bucks as well for the same reason. Um, John Moxley has supposed to have been gone since – since the other pay per view where the mishap of explosion happens, yeah, the fireworks. I say mishap. Uh, I say explosion in quotations, <laughs> and um, it's also because I still, I still truly believe that the like the young bucks still being the champs and part of being a part of the elite with the whole situation with Kenny Omega and all that. Um, I, I feel like it's they still need to keep them dominant to, to hold the mm-hmm. titles. So, you know, I, I just, I just doesn't make any sense for to to for Kingston and Moxley to win the belt, and then Moxley go on a hiatus. You know, like it doesn't make any sense. So I'm going with the consensus. Also, the Young Bucks are, are gonna are gonna win. All right, Young Bucks. All right, and uh, the randomizer. Who does the randomizer have? All right, all right. So I'm actually going to group together the uh, what I call non-experts on this oh. one because <laughs> they all have a consensus and it goes against ours. Uh, really? All three of them. I'm talking the randomizer, J. Few, and Big Al are saying John Moxley and Eddie Kingston retain. Wow. Oh, we, what do they mean? They or win? actually, or actually, win the belt. Win the belt. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> So we're three for three on the first match. Wow. And by the way, Big Al did win a match. Uh, he did win a pay-per-view, didn't he? Well, last year, I think. La- oh, yes. It was last year. Last year. Wow. It's been so long since he had participated. But, yes, he did win one. So he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's pretty good when he does participate. So, wow. Okay. Next matchup. We're going to have Sting and Derby Allen versus Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page in a tag team match. Ricard, who do you have? Oh, this is a, this is a tough one. This is a tough <laughs> one. Um, all right, so this will be, if I'm not mistaken, the second time Darby Allen and Sting are teaming up on pay-per-view? Yes. Yeah. Correct. yeah. Uh, they did pretty well uh, the last time around. Yeah, I like that It looks like it's a standard tag team match, so it's going to be really difficult to hide Sting's uh, – Sting's limitations in the ring versus a cinematic match. Uh, I'm going to say Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page with the win. Oh, okay. Miscommunique somewhere between uh, Sting and Darby Allen. To right. sow the seeds of tension. That's it. All right. And uh, the one-man band, who do you have? Uh, so... I, I mulled this over a little bit, and I was looking around and looking at at some of some of the the whole history. This is going to be Sting's first match, like actual match, since 2015 when he re- when he wrestled Seth Rollins. And wow. you know, I, I yeah. So I, I looked at that, and I was thinking, you know, oh, you know, give Sting the win, you know, just for a feel good moment. But then again. They gave him already the win with Darby Allen for the cinematic match, and I, I start to think, you know, like they're they're really trying to establish Scorpio Sky as a as a heel, and you know him and Ethan Page. I I feel like, you know, Sting has and he already has a win. Darby Allen just lost the TNT title um, not too long ago, mm-hmm. so honestly, it's like I I don't think it'll matter. So in in this case, I'm also going to say that uh, Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page they take the W. All right, Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page for the win for the one man band. That's what he calls. All right, my turn to pick. Uh, for this one, I don't know, guys. Um, I like what you guys are saying, but I I kind of disagree. I'm yeah. going still with Sting and Darby Allen for the win in this one. I think the hand is still hot over there. I know that he has. They they had a lot. Um, Darby Allen lost the title, but uh, I think as a tag team, I don't know. They they have something there going on that they continue building, and this mashup of Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page together to me it's like it's like something that was put together, but I, I don't see any more going on with that. So 
I'm going to go with Sting and uh, Darby Allen for the win on that on that one. So that's my pick. Uh, what does the randomizer have? All right, so the randomizer is in agreement with the people who will eventually be right, uh, myself and one man band. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it goes with Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> J Few, you're in, you're in, you're in some pretty good company though, Lou. I gotta say, uh, J Few agrees with you. Uh, Sting and Darby Allen, and uh, Big Al also agrees with you and says Sting and Darby Allen. Yeah, we got this, fellas. We got so, this. So it's it's another three for three split. Ooh, I like this. I, I like the, I like these splits. Once again. Oh, oh my God. The the fluctuation of the points is gonna be interesting for this uh this pay per view. All right, next matchup. Yeah. It's uh the pinnacle, which is MJF Winslow, Sean Spears, Cash Wheeler, Dax Harwood with Tully Blanchard in the corner, versus the inner circle, Chris Jericho, Jake Hager, Sammy Guevara. Santana and Ortiz. This is going to be a stadium stampede match. If the inner circle loses, they must disband as a team forever. So, big me. Uh, remember last year's uh, stadium stampede was pretty fun. Uh, let's see what happens in this one. And the one man band. You go first. Who do you have? All right, so I'm going to make a correction, and it's Wardlow, not Winslow. Oops, I read it wrong. Uh, I apologize. I apologize. That's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Well, I, I heard Winslow, and the first thing that came to mind was Family Matters. <laughs> uh, yes, you're yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I was thinking, like, Carl Winslow would, like, come out with, with his cop uniform and just be like, be like, you know, just just, just lay in the smack down. You know? that'd, that'd, be, that'd be hilarious. Reginald Bell Johnson. That's, that's, his, that's his real name. Uh, anyway. Um, so, you guys remember last year, uh, last year's Stadium Stampede, uh, it was the Inner Circle versus the Elite with uh, Matt Hardy. And you guys remember that it was a, a, it was a theatrical spectacle uh, yeah. with you know, Matt Hardy having his multiple personalities and all this other crazy stuff. And the Elite won that one. And I feel like this one, this, this stampede, is going to be a lot more serious. Because if I remember correctly, I think they said they're going to have a full capacity crowd. I think they said they're going to have 5,500 people there. So... If that's the case, the antics that they had that they could do last year, I'm pretty sure they're not going to do this year because obviously there's no Matt Hardy, there's no Lee, um, and I think there's a lot riding on 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 the uh, on the inner circle in this case. So I actually think that the inner circle is going to take the, the W on this one Ooh, okay. because I don't think it's time for them to disband. I don't think it's time for them to disband just yet. Plus. The Pinnacle just won the last pay per view, so they just they took the W in the last pay per view. So I don't think it's time for them to disband just yet. So I'm, I'm, I, I say that since it's uh, it's gonna be a more serious setting, I think the Inner Circle is gonna be the, the victors on this one. All right, Inner Circle for the winner for the one man band. All right, my turn to pick. All right, for this one. Um... Wow. Uh, and I have something written down, and I, I, I'm, I'm sticking with it. I liked what you were saying there, uh, the woman in band. I like what you were saying about the about, about uh, the inner circle. But I feel like uh, I think someone's going to go on the road very soon, and that team has to break up. So the only way to do that is they're, they're, the pinnacle wins, and the inner circle breaks up. Jericho goes out on tour, and uh, yeah, I think that the that uh, the inner circle's uh, time is up, and the pinnacle is going is uh, is going to go for is getting the win on this one. So write it down, folks. The pinnacle for the win. Uh, Rick Card, who do you have? So I, I like the uh, one man band's fifty uh, fifty booking. In the uh, Pinnacle versus Inner Circle uh, rivalry, uh, that was pretty. That was pretty cool. Uh, now, with that said, 
Uh, Lou, I also heard your arguments about how, it, you know, something's got to give. Jericho's probably going to start going on tour. It's been a year. You know, it's been a fun ride. Uh, taking both arguments into consideration, I'm going to have to say that I believe uh, the inner circle uh, will lose. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> Pinnacle. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to give the W to Pinnacle on this Oh, one. yes. Good job. I went in a circle last time and it didn't pay off. I'm going to say Pinnacle wins this one. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh, good. Okay, Pinnacle. We'll All right. And, and who does uh, the randomizer have? Uh, randomizer uh, is going to say inner circle oh. with the W. All you right. got J Few. Saying inner circle gets the win. And in a nice breaking of the trend, Big Al is also going to say inner circle. So you and me, Lou, are actually in the minority here, Ooh, two to four. Okay. Pinnacle wow. versus inner circle. Go on, we got this. We got this. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> Don't blame me for making such a good argument. And then I was wrong. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. Next matchup. It's going to be Miro, the champion, versus Lance Archer in a singles match for the AEW TNT Championship. And for this one, I go first. All right. Here we go, folks. Miro is hot now. Rusev, who's that? Who? Who? Who's that? No, Miro. Miro. You know you guys have it in your head since the moment he arrived. He's there, and now this is his moment. He is the champion. He's the AW TNT champion. So in this matchup, I think Miro will give us a good show, and he will retain the title. Miro wins. Ricard, who do you have? I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Miro's going to crush the competition. Uh, probably come out in a tank and steamroll uh, this Lance Archer yeah. guy, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then he's gonna and he's gonna for some reason even despite being you know from wherever he's built from there's gonna be a Russian giant Russian flag that just falls over the ring and he's gonna go <laughs> uh, and a nice callback. <laughs> uh, All right, we had a little bit of a, a gap yeah. there, but uh, so okay, so you have yeah, Miro, so you have Miro for the win. Okay. All right, all right. Well, the, the one man band. Yeah. Who do you have? Miro wins. Champ retains. All right. So all I'm going to say is Miro, Miro on the wall. Who's the champion of them all? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I like uh, that. So um, you know. Listen, I feel I, I feel for Lance Archer. I really do. Why? Because Lance Archer, that the same pay per view last year, was competing for the TNT title against Cody Rhodes. Oh yeah, that was a and good. and he obviously fell short. And I hate to say it, but I feel like he's going to be short once again. He's going to fall he's, short again. That's right. He's going to fall short again. Like I pull Lance Archer. Like I, I it, it, his time has to be coming. His time has to be coming soon. But yeah, right now it's not the time because Miro, yeah, they they just put the belt on Miro. Miro's hot, like he's on, mm-hmm. he's on fire. He's gonna be, I feel like he's gonna be a champ for a while. Mm-hmm. So it's it's gonna be Miro, man. Miro's gonna Miro's gonna crush the competition, you know, Lana or CJ Perry in this case, uh, in his corner to say crush and do his uh, do his this <laughs> his little stick, you know, but. He's going to be, I think it's going to be a decisive one. All right, Miro. All right. And then uh, what is the randomizer and JFU and Big Al have? All right. So we got a 5 1 split here because uh, somebody's special. <laughs> uh, randomizer Randomizer says Miro. Big Al says Miro. JFU wants to be the black sheep of the bunch. He says Lance Archer. Oh, oh really? Boy. <laughs> we'll see how that's that's uh that's a really bold pick. You yeah. extra ink, extra ink for that one. 
<laughs> we'll see how that pays off points wise. We'll see. Yep. All right, so okay, so next matchup we have is Hangman Adam Page versus Brian Cage in a singles match. All right, uh, Rick Card, who do you have? Uh, all right, so I'm going to say that the Hangman is going to turn the page on, on the cage. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm going to say Hangman Adam Page gets the win over uh, Brian Cage. Hopefully this equals some form of uh, shot at – at the title, uh, who knows? Maybe he wins this match and then is one of the TBAs in the uh, Casino Battle Royal. But uh, I'm going to say Hangman Page. He's, he's winning this match. All right. Uh, Hangman Adam Page in there. Okay. And the woman band, who do you have? So I've been mulling, I have been mulling this one over as well because um, I, looked, I looked at both sides. I looked at the, the cage and the page. The rage in the cage for the cage. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I looked at I looked at both of these guys and you know, Brian Cage, yeah, he's he's been you know, he he's been in AEW now almost a year. I think or it might have been a year already. And um I'm like his most significant thing has been uh, winning winning the uh I think it was a briefcase to 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 go for the title. And he did not, he fell short. And then he hasn't really done anything since. He's, I know he's teamed with Ricky Starks and all that. Hangman Adam Page, uh, we all know that when AEW first got off the ground, he was, he was pegged to be the, the guy. And unfortunately, the block, the, the, the roadblock of Chris Jericho was in the way. And, he became the first cha- uh, AEW champion. So, Hangman Adam Page since then has not really found his footing yet. He was a tag team champ with Kenny Omega, had the dissension. They ended up leave- he ended up leaving the Elite. Has pseudo been part of the Dark Order for a little while, and he's just kind of been floundering though. But with with that being said, I think that Brian Cage loses and. Uh, Hangman Adam Page becomes the is the victor, and he will begin his redemption tour. Okay, Hangman Adam Page for the one man band. All right, all right, my turn to pick. Uh, I like what you guys are saying there, and I have my racer in my hand right now because I wrote down my pick before before anything. Oh, uh, he's calling an audible, and I'm not calling the audible. Get ready for this word. I'm not calling the audible. <laughs> I'm sticking oh, with really? Rick. Cage. We're not hitting the control button on this one? Cage <laughs> beats the page. That'll be the headline on your local newspapers tomorrow, Podverse. Cage beats the page. So I think Adam. Uh, I think uh, Brian Cage, <laughs> sorry, Brian Cage defeats uh, Adam Page. And uh, there go all your dreams of uh, a comeback for Adam Page. <clears throat> oh, there. Extra ink. All right. So, yeah, I'll say. All right. So, what does a randomizer Dave Few and Big Al have? <laughs> Lou, it seems you're the special one on this one. Oh. Uh, they all got Adam Page. Uh, Adam Page to win. Uh, randomizer. For some reason, I penciled him in as Adam Cage, but <laughs> oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's Adam Page. Maybe. <laughs> Adam Page. <laughs> They're gonna fuse into one person, <laughs> and and then Brian Page wins. <laughs> That's not how that works. Adam Page, okay. all, all, all throughout the board except for yourself, Lou. So uh, it's, it's make or break for you on that one. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, man. All right. Now, uh, oh, wait. I had this here one second before I read the next matchup, which is going to be a long list of names to read. It's going to be the Casino Battle Royale. Oh, you do it? Huh? You want, want me to do the, the names list? Go for it. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll use my insurance uh, insurance commercial voice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Casino Battle Royal for a future AEW championship match. Your participants are Christian Cage, Matt Seidel, Powerhouse Hobbs, Penta El Zero Miedo, Jungle Boy, Matt Hardy, Mark Quinn, Isaiah Cassidy, The Blade, Evo Uno, Colt Cabana, Preston Ten Banks, Griff Garrison, Brian Pillman Jr., Max Caster, Anthony Bowens, QT Marshall, Nick Camaroto, 
Dustin Rhodes, Lee Johnson, and TBA. Oh. One man band, you have the floor. Man, that's a lot of freaking names. Holy crap. <laughs> right? Ooh. Okay, so there's two glaring there's two glaring ones in my opinion there. Obviously T T B A is one. Tessa uh, always. I, I, <laughs> Tessa Blanchard arrives. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, former impact champion. Yeah, former impact champion, so absolutely it could happen. But the other one that the other glaring name that's there in, in that sea of people uh, is Christian Cage. And I I really feel that, you know, I, I don't know who the TBA would be. I mean, yes, there have been there have been a few rumblings that they said Daniel Bryan could be oh. one of them. Um I highly doubt, though, that, I mean, I, as much as I'd love to see the Yes movement in AEW, I don't, I don't think that Daniel Bryan is, is on his way over. Um, the other one that they said was uh, Andrade. Yeah, but, yeah. But, uh, but I don't believe that they'll put the trigger on Andrade there because they're already doing a Triple Mania main event with him and Kenny Omega. For the Mega Campion Championship. So I don't think that they bring him out there. So I'm, you know, with that said, I honestly think that I, I'm going to go with Christian Cage. Reason I go with Christian Cage. He, he was just, he was just revealed a few months ago. He, uh, signed the, signed the contract. I really feel like they, they want to push him a little bit just to have a program. And, you know, I, I think I think it'll be a good thing, a good way to propel him back into the spotlight. And everybody else that's on there, no offense to them, I'm not I'm not saying that they're that they're uh, bad in any way. It's just you know that they, 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 they don't have really like that name power that like Christian Cage, uh, albeit and besides Matt Hardy, but Matt Hardy's not really there, not really there to like compete for titles anymore. He's he's there to put people over. So, you know, that's it. I don't, I'm gonna say Christian Cage. He's he's, he's gonna to be the Casino Battle Royale winner. Alrighty, there you go. One man band with Christian Cage. All right, my turn to pick. All right, for this one, yes, I do agree. There's a lot of names there. And, uh, yeah, probably there's two names that stick out. Christian Cage and, for me, again, Matt Hardy uh, stick out. Maybe Dustin Rhodes stick out. Would that be a good matchup against Kenny Omega? Mm, I don't think so. Not right now. And there's other matchups in there that we've already seen already. Jungle Boy, uh, he's had he's had some good matches. But I don't think that he's ready up for that caliber of a AEW World Championship match. So, I think the next push... That we're seeing, and we've been seeing it for a while already on TV. If you've been watching Dynamite, it's going to be, of course, Christian Cage. Yes, I agree with you on that one, uh, the one man band. It's Christian Cage. <laughs> I think he's going to be the winner of that, not TBA. Yes, I wish it was Brian <laughs> or something exciting there, but uh, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, I'm going to say Christian Cage is going to win that one, the Casino Battle Royale. Ricard, who do you have? So I got to say, guys, uh, you know, we talk about who's in the match and everything, and, and we see 20 participants and uh, one spot that says TBA. And I like how they always, you know, leave one spot open for the mystery factor. Uh, and we, we threw out some names out there that might be potential potential TBA folks. But, you know, we're, we're looking at we're looking at people from WWE or other, or other promotions, but nobody thought to consider maybe from Impact, someone from Impact makes the jump. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. makes a free agent move here. Uh, but I think that someone who we haven't seen on our TV screens in a while might just make a surprise appearance uh, in this match. Uh, someone who's a free agent. Uh, at one point, it was even his T-shirt. <laughs> I'm talking, of course, about the legendary, the real Wall Man Band. <laughs> he's Slater, baby. That's right. You know it, Lou. 
Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> he found a way to get his. They're gonna oh, see. Boy. Well, you know, he's known in. He's known it as he's Heath Miller in some circles now. But uh, I predict we might just see. We might just see him make an appearance uh, to eventually be eliminated by the real winner of the match. <laughs> what? <laughs> Christian Cage. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Christian Cage gets the win. All right, Christian Cage. <laughs> what a swerve there! I'm like, oh, what? Keith Miller, what? <laughs> All right, uh, randomizer J. Few and Big Al. Who do they have? All right, so we got, we got. From from the non-experts, we got some pretty oh. uh, pretty interesting uh, diversity of thought here. Uh, you got it from the randomizer. It's going to predict QT Marshall with the win. Uh, from J. Few, uh, and you were kind of knocking this this idea earlier, Lou. But uh, J. Few says Dustin Rhodes gets the win. You know, he, he gets a little bit of. You know, I, I, I can just, in the main event. I can just hear J. Few saying, "Just to go against you guys, because I hate you guys." Yeah, I can. I, I can picture. I can picture J. Few doing a, a, a what's it called? A Rumbler uh, v- v- video of himself and Goldust paint, face paint. <laughs> oh yeah, I could, yes, I absolutely. Yes, <laughs> in the whole outfit, yeah. just to just to do that. Uh, so he's going Dustin Rhodes, and Big Al is going to agree with all three of us and say Christian Cage gets the win. So, you know, we got a four and then a split from the other two on the picks. Okay. All right. All right, then. Okay. That's going to be a very interesting matchup. Let's see what uh, who comes out of that one. All right. Next matchup, we have uh, Cody Rhodes with Arn Anderson in his corner versus Anthony Agogo with half the roster. QT Marshall. <laughs> Nick uh, Camarado, Aaron, Aaron so- Solo. So, and this one, let's see who goes first. Oh, look, who goes first? It's me. I go first on this one. Oh, oh. such a hard match to predict. Cody Rhodes or Anthony Agogo, who who showed up on uh, uh, Cody Rhodes' last uh, pay per view, Blood and Guts, knocked him out and then covered him with uh, Union Jack. For this one, I am still going to go with Cody Rhodes for the win. I'm not going to say Anthony Agogo wins this one. I'm not going to say it. I'm not. I'm going to say Cody Rhodes wins. Ricard, who do you have? Uh, whew. okay. Uh, so we got Anthony Agogo, who is British, uh, versus Cody Rhodes. I believe this match is happening in America. So you know, Cody Rhodes has home home field advantage, uh, and as we know, as we know in wrestling, as we know in wrestling, uh, you lose on your home turf. Oh, that's a different promotion. That's a different promotion. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. In all seriousness, if you look at the match, it's it's one guy with three people on the outside versus Cody Rhodes. You know, Cody Rhodes won last time. I think this time around we could have the guy having essentially his debut on pay per view. In a match, get the win over Cody Rhodes, uh, and then follow it up with a post-match beatdown. So, Anthony Ogogo, that's my pick. Okay. All right, and the one-man band, who do you have? All right, so I I went against Cody Rhodes in the last pay review because I thought that he was on his way out. You know, because obviously Brandy Rhodes is expecting as well. Oh, yes. And, you know, and, and I thought that he was going to give the win to QT Marshall or QT Marshall, whatever they call it. But that wasn't the case. He won. But this time, I don't know. I feel like um, this this match, you know, it's Anthony Agogo, uh, you know, it's his debut. This is his debut match and a pay-per-view on a pay-per-view of this magnitude, you know, this – Double or nothing is their WrestleMania, so mm-hmm. you know, so so it's uh, it, it's a lot riding on it, and I I think that this time uh, Cody Rhodes is going to take the loss. I I I think this I think Whoa. it's time. Uh, I think uh, uh, Anthony Agogo, wake me up before you go go. Um, 
we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, put, we'll we'll take it. So, hey, you know, so so uh, yeah, Anthony Agogo, I think he's he's gonna be the victor. So, there we go. Wow. All righty. Okay. All right. Damn. Blah, 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 man. Why'd I go first? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy there, Lou. Take it easy there, Lou. Just wait. Uh, banging my head against the wall and everything. No. They're still. All right. Uh, what are the randomizer, oh. JFU, and Big Al? And they're not. The, you're, you're saying they're not. They're not the experts. They are the experts. They just make it much oh. more fun. Yeah. Okay, Lou. We know why you're saying that right now because uh, apparently all three of them are in consensus on this one. <laughs> and they say Cody Rose is going to pull his executive vice president uh, creative control power here. To get a win over four guys again. Yes. <laughs> I know. Because, uh, yeah, they're all going Cody Rhodes. So it's 4-2. Four, four, Me and one man band are in the minority on this one. Yep. All righty. Okay. Next matchup. Uh, ooh, this is a tough one. You know, you, I know you always say, Ricard, and you go first in this one. <laughs> I know. Don't go against. I never, never, never pick against Hikaido Shido. Versus, get it right, get it right. Hikaru Shida. Hikaru Shida. I see how we said it wrong again. Hikaru Shida. Versus, never go against her, Britt Baker. Who do you have? For the, as correction, this is for me for the women, the AW Women's World Championship. So, who do you have, Ricard? (sighs) Okay, so, uh, you know. You know, I was talking to my girlfriend Hikaru the other day, and uh, she was talking about how heavy the title belt was on her shoulder as a late. You know, she's like, man, I've been carrying this around for almost a year <laughs> and all that stuff. And I said, ah, babe, maybe, maybe it's time to call it a call it a reign. You know, it was a good first title reign. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, I, I had it in my mind. Then I, then I went to the dentist, and, you know, that was kind of scary. So I said, man, Britt Baker. <laughs> <laughs> Britt Baker does this as a profession. <laughs> she's got a lot of she's got a lot of spunk to her. Uh, in all seriousness, though, uh, Britt Baker, we we've always made jokes like, "Oh man, like, what's going on with her? Why 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 do we keep playing these stop and stop and, and start pushes with her?" Yeah, uh, I think they're being very consistent. I think they're being very consistent this time. Granted, Hikaru Shida is. On the video cover for AEW's first video game, alongside Kenny Omega, and uh, I believe it was Chris Jericho. Yeah. So it's hard to go against that video cover, video game cover uh, picture. But I'm gonna say Britt Baker, new champ. Wow. Britt yeah. Baker, the champ. All righty, and the one man band. Who do you have? So you know, I know that we have we have bagged on Britt Baker DMD for uh, for a while now, and that like what Rick Hart just pointed out, the stop and start push, the stop and start pushes, you know that when she as for she she as soon as she arrived to AEW, you know she, you know was billed as one of the top women. As a face, she was really boring. <laughs> Um, I hate to say it, you know, she was really boring as a face. You know, there, there was not much character to her, but she became a heel and was doing all these things with Tony Shavani and, you know, suddenly started building good character. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then, you know, just seemed like would win a match, but then would like revert and lose like two more and be, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And Hikaru Shida has been champ now for almost a year. Um, I think, I think that a big moment is coming and I think that, uh, I think that Britt Baker is gonna, is, is gonna climb the mountain finally. And I think she's going to take the title from, he, from Hikaru. Uh, Hikaru has had a, a, a long run, has, has had a very dominant run as, as a champ. Um, I, you know, I'll be honest. You guys know that I have been a little bit critical on her. Um, yeah. I have been critical on her, like as far as like that. I feel like her matches have been kind of boring, uh, save for maybe like one or two matches as of late. Um, I I have just never been that impressed with her. Um, 
I, she she as of late has picked it up. But I just think it's time. I think it's time to uh, to, to to move on to let somebody else run, take the, take the reins in this front one and uh, give Britt Baker a moment and give the her a moment on the biggest stage of AEWs and and it'll be time. Britt Baker. Britt Baker is going to be Doctor Britt Baker DMD AEW champion. Oh, okay, Britt Baker. Ooh. All right, my turn to pick. Uh, this one, oh, man. I know that on uh, the Go Home Show, they did do something. I didn't get to watch it. I missed it. But I did see the advertisement for it. They were doing a big uh, honoring of uh, Hikaru's, uh, Shida's uh, championship run, how long she's had the championship. I didn't get to watch it, so that I know that was, was going to be a promo thing. I don't know if Britt Baker showed up and attacked her, but... I feel like that, that that to me is like a sign right there. That's it. Her time is up. And Britt Baker's time is the one now. She's hot on what uh on with the matches she's had. She's had other matches where it was uh what did I see? They had thumbtacks thrown on the on the mat. She was battling uh I think it was uh, I forgot anyway, I forgot her name. But anyway, I think that this is the push that, that uh, Britt Baker is getting and I think she's gonna be the new champion. So yes, I agree with uh, both of you guys. Uh Britt Baker the new champ. And uh, what does uh, the randomizer JFU and Big Al have? Well, guys, you know, it, we had, we had, we've, we've, we've had a long set of matches here, but we finally, after, you know, scraping it out tooth and nail, mm -hmm. we've come all to a consensus on one match. Wow. Uh, everyone says Britt Baker. Wow. New champ. Wow. The only consensus match of the night. Wow. So we all get a point. So far, we, anyways. Either we all get a point or we all get zero on that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually very surprised though. Yeah. All right. Next matchup. Yeah. My, my girl, Ricardo, is not going to be happy with that. <laughs> Next matchup. Uh, Kenny Omega with Don Callis in his corner versus Orange Cassidy and Pac. The woman band, who do you have? And this will be for the, this is going to be a three-way match for the AEW World Championship. So the woman band, who do you have? Okay, so one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> um, obviously, Kenny Omega, Impact, Impact, TNA, AEW, triple, uh, Mega Campeon, the AAA Champion. Uh, champion of the universe, um, <laughs> belt, belt collector. Uh, you know, he he is obviously the dominant one. Uh, Pac is obviously the uh, the former ma uh, man that gravity forgot. <laughs> uh, you know, red arrow, black arrow, you know, whatever arrows he has in his quiver. Um, and then you got Orange Cassidy. Um, you know, freshly squeezed, hands in his pocket, doesn't give a shit. You know, he's one of those that just, you know, is is beat, beats to his own drum. You know, but I mean, you know, the way I look at it is, uh, Pac is. I know Pac and Orange Cassidy have some history. Uh, I think that uh. Pac is going to destroy Orange Cassidy. Oof. And then uh, and then Pac is going to lose. Is a, you know, oh, the thing is, is that Orange Cassidy is going to take the pin, in my opinion. And so Kenny Omega is going to be the one to pin him and is going to retain. And I say that because I think they're going to still want to look to make sure that Pac is protected to a degree. Orange Cassidy doesn't really matter you know orange cassidy is a i'm not saying he's a bad wrestler he's not he i've seen him i've, I've seen his actual like serious work he's actually a really good wrestler mm -hmm. um you know but but obviously this is all for fun and gimmick and orange cassidy i don't think really cares like he i'm not saying he doesn't care but i'm saying like he I, i'm pretty sure he's like hey we need you to do this like, oh yeah no problem i got you and uh He's going to count the lights. He's going to be the one that counts the lights for Kenny Omega, and Kenny Omega's going to retain. And that'll be that. 
All right, Kenny Omega with the win on that one. All right, my turn to pick. Yeah, this matchup. Uh, you know what? I think this is gonna, this is gonna be the main event, not the next one that's coming up. But the way the list came up, the way it was done, this will be the main event. And I just want to say, you know what? An applause to AEW. Look what you, look at that. You gave us a nice little three way match, and I agree with you on this one. Um, uh, the one man band. Um, in the sense that only in this, I agree that. One of these three is not the same. One of them does. One of them does not fit there, and the other one is way beyond this. So that's why I'm giving AEW a big applause for. Yeah, you put a nice little match up there for us to enjoy. We're gonna have fun watching this one, but we know what's gonna happen. This reign is not over. Kenny Omega is taking this this train all the way to the top with his championships. So yes, Kenny Omega for the win on this one. Ricard, who do you have? Ah, you know, guys, I, I gotta say, I, this is this is kind of weird for me to say, but I, I think we're gonna have a bit of a disagreement on this one, because oh. uh, uh, not everyone's gonna come to a consensus pick on this very obvious match, and that that, that someone's gonna be the randomizer because I think Kenny Omega's gonna win. <laughs> 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 yeah, Kenny Omega retains. Who are we kidding? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Uh, so as I alluded to, you got the randomizer being the special one on this one. Uh, they say Orange Cassidy, new champ. Uh, and then j Few and Big Al rounding out the reasonable people uh, with a Kenny Omega pick. All righty. Good. Good job. So, 5v1. It's all on the dice. Yep. All right, so here we go. Last matchup that we have here for our predictions. Uh, this could be a, pre- a pre-show match. I don't know. But I, don't, I do not think it's going to be a main, uh, the main event match. But here it is. It's Serena Deeb versus Rio for the NWA World Women's Championship. And I go first in this one. And we isn't Serena Deep. We know her from from a while back with uh, CM Punk, right? That's her. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. her. And uh, That's yeah, her. she's still in the industry. She's still out there fighting. But I'm still, and she's a champion, by the way, in this match. And she is the champion. Mm-hmm. But I do think that uh, I don't know. I feel like Riho is gonna is gonna win this one. Riho is gonna be the new NWA. World Women's Champion. Write it down, Podverse. That's my pick. Ricard, who do you have? I mean, you said this seems like this has pre-show match written all over it. Uh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to say that uh, Serena Deeb is uh, going to take the pinfall here, <laughs> and Rio is going to win. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going to say, yeah, Rio, new champ. All righty. What a way to start off the night. And the one-man band, who do you have? All right, so I was looking at this, and I believe uh, Serena D won the belt, the NWA title from uh, Thunder Rosa, if I remember correctly. Um, Yeah, I might might have been Thunder Rosa. Mm -hmm. I know Thunder Rosa had it for a little bit, Mm -hmm. and I know she defended it on AEW a few times. Mm Um. I, I'm gonna be in the. Uh, I, I'm thinking about it, and I'm looking at Riho, and I think that Riho is gonna take the pin. Um. Wow. wow. Yeah. I. I don't know. I just. Here's the thing. Uh, um. Riho. And I, you know, and I hate to say this, I really do, because Rio's a good performer. I'm not saying that she's not a good performer, but she just, when she was the AEW Women's Champion, there was not really like a lot of excitement with her, and it sucks. I, I hate to say it, like I hate to say it, like it just feels like the Japanese wrestlers in in AEW have kind of fallen flat. 
you know, it, it's I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like Riho, you know, weighs all of like ninety eight pounds, I believe. And I don't believe I don't believe that that uh, NWA wants to drop the belt to somebody so soon. Like Serena Deeb hasn't had it that long, and Serena Deeb is actually really good. Like she's she's actually a really good performer. And we know her from the WWE days too. Like she was actually pretty decent back then too. Um, Riho just doesn't strike me as as someone that that could can run with a title and make it believable. I hope she could change it. I'm not saying that she can't, but I I just don't I just don't see I just don't see them pulling the trigger and, and having her win the NWA title. And so I want to say Serena Deeb retains. And she's gonna keep on with the rain. Well, I say, all right, Serena Deeb yeah. for the one man yeah, band. All right, mm-hmm. and uh, what does Randomizer, J Few, and Big Al rounding out the show? What do they have? Well, one man band, you're gonna be, uh, you know, relieved to hear that J Few agrees with you. Mm. <laughs> Randomizer and Big Al both have Rio in their picks. Okay. JQ says Serena D. So it is a two to four. Can I can slip. I change mine right now? No. No, Lou, you can't. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> can I edit out what the I said? Pick has been locked. Can I edit out what I said? And I pick I don't know. Take that up. Take that up with the editor. <laughs> It'd be like, and I pick Serena Deep for the win in this one. <laughs> <laughs> in a Microsoft Sam voice. Serena Deep. <laughs> all right, all right. Just, oh, one, just checking, just checking. I thought that was, that was my one last question. If I could, re, if I could change this pick, but uh, yeah, this is gonna be a big matchup. Uh, it's gonna be a chance. Oh, you know what? I feel, I feel kind of. Ha- I feel. I gotta say one thing for this pay per view. Uh, looks like a very good, good, busy pay per view, and I feel like I'm gonna get a ten out of ten right in this one. Sure. <laughs> Oh. oh boy, Lou. Okay, okay. If you're so confident about that, how about we, how about we play to the namesake of uh, of the pay per view name here? I'm I'm throwing it out right now. Double or nothing. Double the points. Put your lead on the line, Lou. You can either widen the gap or see somebody tie with you. No, no, no I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Ah. All right then. All right then. Yeah. Well. Uh, don't worry. Your time's coming. <laughs> yeah. So I, I just want to know the comeback story. How, how does that comeback story uh, going one man band? Well, I mean, you know, I did, I did win the, uh, I, I did partially win the, uh, the last review, and you know, it's if if you guys remember, I had the longer streak this year so far. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna build another one. Just you watch and. I, what did I say last year? Last year, when I came in in April, or maybe even like maybe May, I can't even remember. And I got eight points last year. I'm already at five, and we're not even halfway through the year yet. So, yeah. So so let's uh, so let's see let's see this other streak happen. I'm st- I still technically am the longest running champion. So. <laughs> I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring it back. All right. 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 Look, look. All I'm gonna say is. All I'm gonna say is, Lou, and this. This. This could be your, your closing soundbite. I'll tell you how that comeback starts. Starts with me taking off my pants. Uh.